Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 23 at chapter 10. In this chapter, we will talk about rotational motion. There you can see the angular acceleration uh, is given. It is as a function of time. Look at there. And then we know the at initial, the angle theta is zero. The angular velocity omega is zero. And then we need to determine the formulas for omega and the angle theta. So how can you do that? First of all, we can see this one is given the angular acceleration, right, equal to this function. But we also know the angular acceleration equal to derivation for omega with t. Do you agree? The derivation for angular velocity with delta t. And in this one, we can solve this equation. And how can we solve this one? We do the integral at both sides. So this one can write at this uh, format. And then we do integral at both sides. So there we do integral for omega. With initial, it's zero. This one is given. And the final is omega. The initial t is zero. And the final is t. So we do integral at both sides. We can get this function. Agree? The next one, we can need to find the angular position theta as a function of time t. So how can we do that? There we can see omega is this one. So this, sorry, this is theta. So how can we get the angular velocity omega? It is d theta with dt, right? d theta with dt. And then this function is given there. So we write it there. So we do the integral at both sides. So at initial, theta is 0, final is theta. Initial t is 0, final, we write it as t. So do integral at both sides, we get the function, the angular position theta with time. Now. Tell you at the time t equal to 2 seconds, can you find omega and theta? Sure, you just input the t equal to 2 seconds. In these two functions, you can get the angular velocity and also the angular position theta. Thank you.